We're getting close to the finish line on our penguin feeding app. When we left off, we had used the Square in-app payments SDK to securely collect and validate a user's credit card info. And we had written some code to submit a card charge request for a chosen penguin to our backend service. Let's shift our focus over to the backend code. Remember, the backend is an AWS Lambda function written in Python. When the function receives an attempt charge request, it routes it to a handle attempt charge method. This method starts out by getting a square secret app key from the environment. You might remember that this is one of the reasons we opted to have a backend component, so that we can secure our app key on hosting that we own, rather than distributing it to thousands of mobile devices. But for this line of code to work, we're going to need to actually provide that app key. Let's go to the Square Developer dashboard, open up our app registration, and copy the secret key. Then we'll go back to the AWS Lambda console, find the function environment settings, and paste it in. Right, with that taken care of, let's go back to looking at the code for handling charge attempts. The next line decodes the request body, and the line after that looks up the penguin ID that was passed from the client. There's some code to handle the case when the penguin is not found, but so long as the penguin was found, the code next starts assembling the body of a new HTTP request for the Square API. The first attribute is an item potency key. This is a unique UUID that we provide. It ensures that if there's a consistency glitch and the Square servers accidentally process this request twice, the second request will be thrown away instead of attempting a duplicate charge. Next up is a source ID parameter. This is the nonce that the client acquired, which represents the validated card to charge. Finally, we supply a parameter for the amount of the charge with keys for amount and currency. This whole structure gets JSON encoded and then posted to the Square Payments API endpoint, along with the app key as a bearer token to prove that it's us. Assuming the charge succeeds, there is then some code to return an HTTP response with information about what was charged. Okay, now we have a good idea of what's going to happen on the back end when we submit a charge attempt. Let's flip back over to our mobile app code. Once we have a response, we need to check if it was successful. If it was, we'll use the Square SDK to complete the entry process. Otherwise, we'll use the Square show card nonce processing error method to report the problem. Let's try out the failure case first by entering a card with an invalid CVV code. Yep, there's our error message. Now let's try a successful charge. Well, this time we don't get an error, but we also don't get any indication of success. Let's fix that. We'll add a method called report success that takes an HTTP response. In it, we'll decode the response body, then we'll display a success dialog. In the dialog message, we interpolate in the penguin name as reported by the server. Now we can go back to the success branch and add an on card entry complete handler to the call to complete card entry. It expects a no argument method, so we provide a lambda that calls our new report success method with the successful HTTP response. Now let's see if this works. We select a penguin, fill in some test credit card details, and submit. And there we are, a message confirming our generous donation for our local zoo's penguin population. And that's it, we're done. We've succeeded at our goal to create an app that lets zoo patrons make donations right from their phones in the form of meals for their favorite penguins. Along the way, we dipped our toes into several different technologies. If you want to learn more about the Dart programming language and the Flutter mobile development framework, you can visit dart.dev and flutter.dev, respectively. For more about AWS Lambda, check out aws.amazon.com lambda. And to learn how to quickly add mobile in-app payments with Square SDKs, you can get started at developer.squareup.com. I hope you've enjoyed this app development tutorial. On behalf of myself, Square, and penguins everywhere, thanks for watching.